Hello friends. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to play a game that is still operating, although it's operating in a very different format than it once did years ago. So today we're going to be playing Dark Age of Camelot, which I played when it came out. Uh, the game came out in late 2001, and the company that put it out was Mythic. Uh, eventually it ended up being an EA product, and over the course of many, many years, the game has been mutated into numerous releases. Uh, over the years, different things have changed. One of the key features that you're going to see well, you won't see it because I'm not playing that recent copy, is Dark Age of Camelot, Camelot was the first game to come out with artifacts that leveled on as you went. So you would go out and you would kill things and the, your, your artifact would gain power. If that sounds familiar, it's certainly not a new idea. So uh, a lot of people are praising World of Warcraft for coming up with that, but they really didn't. Uh, most of their artifact system is pretty closely ripped out of Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, there are people who are going to debate that, I realize that, but remember we're playing classic, so we're not even going to see that, so it's not an issue. Like I always do for people who have never played these old servers, I'm going to go through how we do the installation, and then I'll go through how we play it. If I encounter any problems once we actually start playing the game, well, we'll handle that as we will. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Dawn of Light webpage, dolserver.net. Now, the reason I'm making this particular video today is because there's very little information on how to install Dark Age of Camelot. And it actually took me about an hour of research to pin down exactly what's going on and how to do it. So, First thing we want to do is we're going to look at this Dark Edge Camelot portal. You can actually look at the server as well if you want to actually run your own Dawn of Light server. And there aren't many. There's one, really, that, that's, a, that's huge. Uh, the rest of them are middling for the most part. Um, a lot of them are only projects for developing people who are developing things for the project. They're open to play on, however they are not really player driven. Uh, for a classic version of Dark Age of Camelot, currently there are almost 1500 players online, which is pretty stunning considering the game is actually still operating. So that classic environment really makes a lot of difference for some people. But we want to focus on the Dark Age of Camelot portal, and this portal is going to give you the window to get to the servers that are out there. So we want to go to the Dark Age of Camelot portal, download, and that's going to bring you to basically SourceForge. And I've already downloaded it here, and it's the Dark Age of Camelot portal setup.msi. So we're going to go into the portal and you want this file right here. The rest of the things didn't really seem to matter. This is the most recent. I have a feeling this includes these so I don't think you need to worry about them. I had considered downloading them but actually things seem to come up okay without it. So once we've downloaded this MSI you just do an installation and I'm not going to go through that installation again because I think by now we all know how to install stuff. Uh, you can accept the defaults um, and have no problem getting through it. Uh, tell where you want it to go, and when you're done, it will quit. I actually had to open it a couple of times, and it patched. And then I was able to actually run the portal. So the next thing you need to do is you need to go to darkedgecamelot.com downloads and download get the full client. So full client game, full game client. Click right here to download this and you're going to run the installer. 
and it's going to go through and it's going to make a like a preface of a shell of the game basically on your computer wherever you put it and make sure you remember where you put it because it's going to be important later so we've I've installed this already I actually can't uninstall it I can't uninstall it reinstall it without it totally screwing it up the way I've got it set up so I need to leave it installed but needless to say the only thing you need to be aware of on here are two things the first thing you need to be aware of is you need to be aware that at the last box it's going to ask you to open to create an account you want to uncheck that box because you don't want to create an account on EA servers and if you have one you don't want to create another one so and then the next thing you're going to want to do is run the client so I've got Dark Age of Camelot right here so I ran it and it patched if I run it again it's going to repatch it and undo all the work that I've done so once we've downloaded it run it one time until everything's all patched up quit out of it you're done with it the next thing since we're playing on Fred it tells you exactly how to play on Fred now there is a larger server and it is did I minimize that I think I did. No, I think I exited it. Yep, I think I exited out of it. So, there's a larger server called Uthgard. Now, Uthgard has almost 2,000 people playing on it right now. And ideally, it would be the perfect place to go try things out. However, Uthgard has very specific things you need to do in order to connect so if you want to play on a populated server which actually what I would recommend is trying it in a smaller environment like Frad first and then move into Uthgard once you remember how to play the game uh, this is not Dark Age of Camelot Prime there are a lot of things that they don't teach you anymore. There's no tutorials on movement or whatnot. Uh, Storm and D2 are the official servers, and these are the servers that support the official server. So either of these are pretty pretty good. Uh, but I, I know Freyad will accept people, and I don't know about Origins because I didn't check it out, but. There are some non-supporting that are probably privately run, but nobody's playing on them. Anyway, you can define however you want to do things based on how you configure your server. And we're not going to go into server configuration. Just know that Uthgard usually seems to be running between 1,600 and 1,700 people. However, it's a very specific installation. It's very complicated. Uh, for some people so you will want to follow the steps on Uthgard's page but get familiar with the game first on a less populated server so you don't bumble around and the reason I'm saying this is because as soon as you start leveling your character you're going to remember very quickly that you get a limited number of skill points and you cannot learn every skill so you do need to pry on your template so fool around on another server that's that's open but not really publicized and busy it's just a development server like we're gonna do and then move into Uthgard so you don't screw up because if you blow up your template on your your on the one of the dev servers you're not gonna feel as bad if you blow up your template on a populated server where you've already got friends and you've got to recreate your character from scratch well I'm gonna feel sorry for you so we downloaded the client, and then we had to download this game.dll file to revert it to 1.109, which I've downloaded right here, and then I've copied into the main directory. So our game.dll has been reverted. And then you're going to need the new frontiers To replace the new front new new frontiers so since there have been so many changes the frontiers in Dark Age of Camelot have been updated the client has updated them however we're playing classic so it's gonna get kind of confused now this is pretty easy to do actually this 
link right here links you to this page, which here's the two links for 1.109 game DLL and the frontiers. And you just go open this up, and here's the frontiers, and you just copy them into the frontiers directory, which is right here. And then that brings them back to where they were before. And now we've installed it, replaced the game DLL. Now we've installed Dark Age Camelot Portal, which is right here. Go to File and Settings, and then tell it where you installed it. And then you can connect. So in order to connect, you type in your desired username and a password. And then you click play. And that should be all there is to it. So now that we've installed it, and now that we have it ready to go, now we're actually going to go play it. Now, Dark Age of Camelot starts out a little weird. So I'm going to go into the game, I'm going to create my character, and I know exactly what I'm going to be already because I played this game forever, ages ago. Um, and then we will uh, we'll talk more once I get the options set up to a point where I can record and to the point where I've got music shut off. So I'll be back with you guys then, and we will take it from there. But that's pretty much all you need to know to install it. Now, like I said, Uthgard is very particular. So once you've gotten familiar with the game again on one of these servers, you can click on Uthgard and then click on Server's Homepage, and it'll take you straight to the homepage. They do have a very, very detailed installation. You can already see there's 2,015 people on there. Uh, Remembering the fact that Dark Age of Camelot is very build specific. You can screw up your character by putting one point in the wrong block and make yourself very ineffective in Classic. I'm pretty sure they fixed that later in the game, made it a little bit more forgiving. But in Classic, I know I had a Thane and I put one point too many into something and he was never as optimal as my friend's Thane. Just suffered completely because it broke the entire build that I was trying for. So basically, all the time that I wasted taking that thing up to 50, uh, I had to wait to get a reset point to reset him and start over again with my points. And that took quite a while because the dragons weren't really being killed then. Um, so it, it, just take it as you will. If you, do, if you don't understand what points go into what, look up some builds, play around on one of these dev servers, play around on something that gives you instant 50, and uh, get familiar with it before you, you get on, you jump on a, like a, a real server, because if you gimp yourself right out of the gate, you're going you're gonna to hate this game. And this is more for the people who haven't played, or don't remember that aspect of the game, or played the newer version, which may not have that mechanic anymore. But I do remember in Classic... On, I don't know if this server's fixed that problem, but I do know in Classic on the actual server, it, it can totally screw you up. So just, just keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll be back with some gameplay shortly and another video, and we can, we can check out this Classic trip through history. I'll see you guys there.